Hi guys, this is Sadek from Rodman.com. In this video, we'll show you how to flash the latest Android One ROM onto Poco F5. So please take a backup of all that on your phone. And let's get started. So first off, get Android SDK from my article. The link is given here and extract them onto your PC. Upon extraction, you'll get the following files as you could see over here. Just give me a second. Files of platform tools are here. These are the ones. One that is done. Your next action is to enable USB debugging OEM unlocking. The debugging is required for ADB command and OEM unlocking is required to unlock the phone. So let's enable both the toggles. For that, go to settings from here. Then go to about phone, type on OS version seven times. Then once that is done, go back, go to additional settings, dev options and enable OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. You have to wait for 10 seconds. In the meantime, check mark I'm aware of all the risk and then tap on OK. Once the time frame has elapsed, just tap on OK. You might get a warning sign, tap on OK. And that is it. We have enabled debugging. Let me first verify that as well. For verification, type in CMD over here in the address bar, hit the enter key. Now type in the command of ADB devices and make sure you are having an ID. So you could see we're having this ID. If that's all well and good, your next action is to unlock the phone. For unlocking, I made an article on how you could get the job done. Just give me a second hyper OS 2. So you may have a look at my article and the video as well and unlock the phone with ease. So this the video should be here as well. Just give me a second. Okay, this is the video and the steps are given here. So please have a look at that and unlock the phone. Once that is done, please re enable USB debugging once again. Moving on, once you unlock the phone, your next action is to get the ROM file. From this link, we have two ROMs, either the root or the non-root version. This is the root version. This is the non-root version for now I'm using the root build and let me show you this is the ROM file over here using the, the case to next ROM file in my case it's the root one for the Android one you may use either of the two the root or non-root once you've got the ROM zip file let's now flash it for that boot up into fast boot mode so type in the command of adb reboot bootloader and hit the enter key the phone should now be in the fast boot mode in just a few seconds so let's wait for that to complete and then Type in the command of fastboot devices and again hit enter and verify that you are having an ID. So if you're not having this ID, not an issue. Simply install the fastboot drivers onto your PC. The fastboot drivers links are given here. Install it via this link. And after that, do a right click on the Windows icon and choose device manager. Now expand the Android phone section and verify your phone is shown here. As you could see in our case, it's now shown here. If that's all well and good, then let's get started with the ROM flashing. So first off, Let's flash the custom recovery onto our phone. The link for that is given here. So the step one is done and dusted by us. Step two is also complete. Step three is also done now. Step four is over here. So get the recovery file from this link. Once you've got the recovery file, it will be something like this. Give me a second. At the very bottom, I suppose this is the recovery for our phone. Copy it and paste the file inside platform tools. Likewise, do a renaming. Let's rename it to TWRP. And once that is complete, you could now flash the file onto your phone. For that, type in the command of fastboot flash. Then the partition name, which is the recovery partition. Okay. So type in recovery. The file name, which is twrp.img. Let's flash the file across both the slots A and slots B. Slots AB. Hit enter. The flashing will now start. Take only a few seconds. Let's wait. And you could now see flashing done across both the slot A and the slot B. Recovery is now flash. So now type in the command of fastboot reboot recovery and hit enter the phone should now be in the TWRP recovery this might take some time so let's wait for that to complete i guess around 10 to 12 more seconds should be there at the very max and once you're inside the recovery mode the first action should do a phone formatting this will wipe off all data from your phone so please check a backup beforehand once that is complete go to wipe format data type in yes hit the orange check mark formatting is now complete so now go back again go back once again go back Go to reboot and choose recovery. The phone should now reboot to the recovery mode. And with this, we should now have the data partition remounted onto our phone. And let's see if you could access the slot or not. The data slot of our phone should now be shown here. Just give me a second. So I could access the storage. Well and good. Now simply copy the ROM file and paste the file onto your phone directly. This is the ROM file. Just copy it and paste it here. If this is not working for you, then in that case, you will have to paste the ROM inside platform tools and then type in this the following command. ADB push file name, let's say rom.zip space forward slash SD card. The file will now be transferred onto your phone's SD card. So you may use this command as well. 
or simply rom do a rom copy paste which i am doing right now copy paste it will be push or you may also use a usb pen drive if you have otg if you have use that a pen drive copy push or adb push command but please don't use the adb side load that should be used only with that usb recovery like linux os recovery or cr recovery and not with this wrp recovery so keep this point in mind the file is not transferred let's see that go to install this is the file choose it swipe to flash the flashing will now start and take up to around four to five minutes so let's wait for that to complete so guys the flashing is now complete although you might see a few warning signs or fail to mount partitions that's all normal nothing to worry about just go back again go to wipe format data type in yes hit the blue check mark and once that is complete you will now tap on reboot system the first booting up will take up some time i guess 30 to 40 seconds that's all normal nothing to worry about let's at least keep a tab on the boot logo or the boot animation they should now appear anytime soon and after that we'll have a look at the rom features as well but for now let's just see if that appears or not in a matter of few more seconds we should now see the boot animation come up for the android one a clean stock ui experience should be there on the cards still let's see what all it has to offer and the first booting up might take some time and we might see a few delay and you could see we have got the boot animation the google which was there in android one i had used android one in i guess xiaomi mi a2 phone so this was the last time i used an android one os and now we have the same on the poco f5 it's currently booting up and this will just be a matter of few seconds before we could access the os and with this we are inside the os so let's get started i am skipping this for now if you want you may connect to wi-fi link your account and restore all the other data as well but that will take a lot of time so let's skip this for now let's skip this as well and only i'm for the ui and ux of the rom and we'll look at the features as well and that is it we are inside the os as expected it has quite a lot lot of google apps you could see gmail youtube photos calendar google drive files messages phones photos play store youtube music youtube as well this is the qs files the rom is based on android 15 not 16 and there will not be many tweaks because it's a clean stock experience and what one is known for that still let me see what all i can see from here anything fancy in the display section brightness adaptive brightness extra dim lock screen privacy show all notification content so always show time and info tap to check phone all this will lead to more drainage of battery more battery drainage but it's fine for me if aod is working or not you could see it's working well and good double tap to wake is also working dark theme is enabled now okay it's pure black that's quite great to see i love the black themes not the dark one and it has a black theme refresh rate could set to 120 at all times this will lead to more battery drainage but it's fine tap to sleep this is also working tap to wake is also working so that's great to see and in the system section which is over here what all is there gestures quickly open camera one tap to check phone double tap to check phone swipe to take a screenshot this is a must for me and it's working as expected and okay you have game bar as well enable fps overlay device temperature could be shown as well cpu uses clock speed temperature ram uses gpu clock speed choose the fps method new or legacy style legacy is i guess transparent okay i don't know what's this difference between both of them in the legacy and uh, new let's choose the default only you can change the background transparency increase the text size padding change the colors of them as well but the, the green looks quite nice so let's go with that only enable double tap to capture for the logs long page duration start logging okay there are various you may add your apps from here and then the settings will be applied to all those apps or games to be more precise and then apart from that let's check out the main part which is the wallpaper style section so from here you may change the wallpapers which are there quite a few ones are there let's choose let's say okay currently this one looks not nice i have to change it just give me a second let's choose the black one only and how it looks it's fine you may enable theme icons as well change the aggregate size 5 plus 5 looks fine for me it's fine but let's change the let's turn off the theme icons that are not a good one lock screen clocks are also there let's keep this one and that is just about it a clean ui experience with just the required features home settings it's more of a pixel experience rom i suppose i have used that rom which is no longer working you might be aware of that 
but this has all the features and UI and UX. Just a clean sock experience with no bloatware, nothing fancy as such. It will just get the job done with ease. And guys, that's just about it. Okay, I flashed the routing version. Let's see if the routing is working or not. So let's change this to file transfer. And I have to use the KSU Next app. Let me just see if I have those app or not. KSU, KSU Next, this is the one. This is the new one. Let's copy it. Transfer the file onto my phone, which is here. Paste it. And now let's launch. Okay, gesture should be changed as well. The gesture navigation is uh, under system, I suppose. System, then gesture. I have to change it to, well, it's not there, but it should be na in, under navigation. Then I suppose navigation mode. Change it to three, just navigation. Now it's fine. Okay, circle to search is also there. Currently I'm offline, but it should work. Okay, it's working as well, you could see, but I'm offline, so it will not work. But the feature is there inbuilt and that's quite a handy feature as well. Okay, now let's open the five minute app. Just give me a second. Let's keep the app here. Files app. Allow. Got it. Storage. Case you next. Settings. Install. Routing the ROM is optional. You must skip that. It's not required. I'm just doing it for the sake of showing you. Open. Not installed. Proceed. Okay, this is not working. Let me try out the, the case you app. Let me see if that is working or not. So the ROM name is in the the case you next, but the case you next is not working. Let's see if this is working or not. So let's try to install the case you app and see what happens. Case you is over here. Install it. Open. The case you app is uh, here. Not installed. So I have to manually root the ROM. It's not rooted by default. That's strange because the ROM said that it's rooted. You could see there are two variants of the ROM. Let me show you. The ROM has the KSU next and the normal variant, which is over here. So if you try to open the links, you could see the root one is over here. And this is the non root version. In the root version, you could see in the naming itself, the KSU next. And this is the non KSU one. I flashed the KSU next ROM. As you could just give me a second. Let's verify it as well. So this should be the ROM name platform tools. Okay, in the downloads folder, it should be in the downloads. Compress. You could see it's the case the next version of the ROM, which I've just flashed, but routing is not there. So you have to manually root the ROM. Either by you could say flashing the the, the case you okay, you have to extract the boot IMG file from this uh, ROM's stock form from the ROM's payload bin file. So extract the ROM zip file. You get the payload bin file, extract the bin file via the Farboot enhance tool. Let me show you for the sake of reference. Extract it. And after that, go to payload dumper, click on browse. Choose the bin file, the payload bin file, which is there inside the ROM. Hit the open button and then you could extract the boot IMG file. Once you've got the boot IMG file, you must then simply patch the file by the case you next app and then flash it via the farboot command. The task stands complete. Or the easier way is to simply flash the magic zip file obtained by magic. Both could work. So guys, that's all from this video. If you have any query, let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.